Okay. Um, I think that means we have to go to the Alta Snips and change this. Yeah. Name needs to be U size, U size. And this is going to just be 2000, zero. <laughs> we can fix that later. Or maybe this could be dollar one and dollar two, except I don't know how to t tab between them. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. Should we look at day four and see if there's anything we can do there? I, I guess the, the, the one thing we were able to do to make it generic, right, is we were still able to use this read to chars to get a uh, vector of, of characters. So we still had that. That's nice. Um, let's find out what day four looks like. Uh, okay. All right, we're getting there. Day four, the ideal stocking stuffer. Help, Santa needs help mining some advent coin, really? We're doing Bitcoin mining now? To use as gifts, uh, to do this, he needs to find MD5 hashes, which in hex start with at least five zeros. Boom. My puzzle input is this. Okay. All right, so I think the workflow for this now is we edit AOC25 mod, right? We then create a four and a four. And then we Four, 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 right? That's all we need to do. And then this will tell us the name of the file we need to edit. We edit this. We say AOC Utilisnip, and this will be AOC 2015-04. Yep, okay, so now we have this. And that's right, we need to change the year And there we go. Okay, so we're starting day four. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do, sh should we implement our own md 5 -er? How hard could it be? Algorithm, here we go. Process a variable length message into a fixed length output of 128 bits. Input message is, is broken up into chunks of 512 bit blocks. Message is padded so the length is divisible by 512. Padding works as follows. First, a single bit is appended to the end of the message. This is followed by as many zeros as are required to bring the length of the message up to 64 bits fewer than a multiple 512. The remaining bits are filled up with 64 bits representing the length of the original message mod 2 to the 64. Uh, okay. Input is an ND5 hash is some secret key followed by a number in decimal. To mine evident coins, you must find Santa the lowest positive number that produces such a hash. Your secret key is ABCDEF. The answer is 609043 because MD5 hash of this starts with five zeros and it's the lowest such number to do so. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's a a shortcut on this one. You just have to grind through all of them. Here's the pseudocode for calculating MB5. I was just thinking, is there a way we could just, you know, calculate just the first five digits of the MD5 hash rather than have to do the whole thing? But because there's rounds, there's a looks like there's um sixty-four rounds of Calculating? Yeah. That the, and then, you know, the, the D goes to A, A moves down, B shifts down, C shifts down, so it, it rotates it through. Um, 
And so there's no way to just say, okay, just give me the five, first five digits. C can you just work on the first five digits? You have to do the whole thing. So, and I think it would be really slow and painful to actually re-implement MD5. So it's, this seems like a job for Rust MD5, great, whatever that is, MD5. That makes sense. Package provides the MD5 hash function. Let digest is MD5 compute this. Yeah, it's cryptographically broken. Okay, so I guess I guess we're going to rely on a, a crate, which I normally don't do. But um, I guess I can say this. Oops. Let's do this. Do that. Quit. Cargo add MD5. And then all we have to do is loop over each one. And it might take a while, right? Depending on everybody gets different input, but it could take a while. I wonder if I should do like um, multiple threads just to speed things up, but I don't want to burn all of my CPUs because I got a CPU running OBS and um, that would interfere with my OBS output. Why is this so slow? All right, while that's running, maybe we could um, hack, hack together an algorithm. Oops, oh shoot, okay. There's no way to make that a... So all I did was say, create a new tab, and it created a new tab, but a lower font size. And if I try to increase the font size, it'll increase the window size. So I guess I should have done this in a separate window. Um, do I have another, I do have another window here. Let me do this. And then what I can do is, yeah, so I was looking at my Cinecore challenge. I still haven't pushed this to um, GitHub, disappointingly. No, A, it's AOC lib, right? Yeah, there, okay, so, uh, and BIM. Oh, I don't, I don't think I have it under, yeah, I don't have it in here yet. Oh, files, 04, there. Okay, so how's this going? Going well, okay, so what we can do is we have a constant uh, prefix, which is a string, which is equal to not that. Um, it's equal to this. Is this done? Okay, good. Let's move this back here and save this. Okay. All right, so we have our prefix. There we go. And so now all we need to do is in part one, loop and MD5 things, right? With, can I do, no leading zeros, lowest positive number. Okay, zero is not a positive number. Is there a way say to do this in Rust, just to say loop and then dot iter? I don't, I don't know that there is. Um, so what was the, it was MD5 compute, right? So all we need to do is create the string. I guess we can say format bang. Hello, Togglebit. How are you? And Pyro Pyro. Thank you. Th uh, thank you for joining. Um, and I think we just do the prefix followed by the number, right? And once we've gotten that, we can look at the starting characters. 
and see if they start with five leading zeros. Unfortunately, again, I don't think there's anything here that we can use to create um, an entry in our very, very slowly expanding advent of code library. There've got to be others as soon, hopefully. Um, and then, so we just say if digest starts with, right? One, two, three, four, five. Then we found it. Return, we back, bang. Um, what are we returning? We just need the number, right? The lowest positive number. So all we care about is the number format, bang, I. And then part two is, I don't know what part two is going to be. This failed because we can't compare. Oh, digest is a, oh, I have to, oh, hmm. I have to convert it to a string first. String digest. Um, I guess format bang, and then we're going to convert it to hex. That's all we need to do there. And we can just say string digest starts with. Right. Um, what's the warning? Oh, yeah. That would have been bad. That would have been an infinite loop. Thank you, Rust, for pointing that out. Okay. Cargo run release. I'm going to do it in release mode because I've got a feeling it's going to... Oh, it wasn't slow at all. I thought it was going to be slow, but it isn't. Okay. Let's see what happens. That's the right answer. Part two is now find one that starts with six zeros. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, this would be the very first one to start with five zeros. So maybe we can save a little time. Um, just put a start of new size here. Um, and, oh, no, no, no. Start of view size, and then just, just becomes a one. So now we'll do self, self dot, I don't want to call it start. Um, lowest. Lowest, and then we just say here, instead of I, it's self lowest, self lowest plus equals one, and then we can just start from self lowest here and look for six digits. Um, and yeah, instead of doing that, we can also do this. Uh, find prefix. No. Hmm. Because I want to be able to modify self lowest. So find lowest itself. And we can just say prefix is a string. And then we can do this in here. All right, and then instead of this, I'm going to say, does it start with a prefix? Okay, and if that's so, then we return self lowest. And then this just becomes return of find self, no, yeah, self find prefix one, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Does that check? It doesn't. Um, find prefix is not a member of, oh, oh, oh. Right. That's the um, trait. There we go. Expected, oh, All right. This returns a back of string and then we're done. Okay, cargo run. release 
Oh, that's not good. Um, hmm. Obviously, it's not going to be the same one. Oh, yeah, obviously not. There we go. I don't know, release modes are moving pretty quickly. Oh, uh, this is slow. Okay, fair enough. Asakura says six zeros. Yeah, yeah. I I caught it probably about the same time you did, but the delay meant I didn't see your answer or your uh, your hint. Okay, so that wasn't too bad.